time. Okay, my name is Adam Lobo. I'm over here from Australia teaching at the various flow festivals around the country. I've got this one and then campfire left to do before I go home. The workshops that I've been teaching are focused on contact pressure placements. A pressure placement is this guy here. As you can see, there are currently three points of contact. First one is this hand pushing down. This hand can be replaced by gravity as it is here. The other two points are on top of your knuckles, as you can see in between my thumb and in between that knuckle there and my forearm there. You must have an extremely grippy piece of equipment in order to do this, otherwise it will slide off. Once you get these pressure placements, you can float them into vertical holds. When you're in a vertical hold, you can shimmy it left, right, up, down, anywhere, and also horizontally. Therefore, finding yourself anywhere in space, even angularly, that you wish to be. All of these placements feed directly into every single conventional contact staff moon known, known to man. For instance, we'll stop here and we'll feed into an angel roll. Stall. Bring back around. Nice. We will come to this one, fold it into horizontal, and lift it up, wrap it around, and a Steve. Pressure. Drop back down. That's awesome. You can place this thing anywhere in space you like, therefore removing the necessary aspect of hands. Because we're contact staff spinners, who needs hands? And the best part about it is you can be holding another object, such as contact juggling spheres. To emphasize to the audience, which is often lost on them, the complexities of contact staff. Therefore, if you're holding something and able to access all of these movements, you can clearly demonstrate to them the difficulty that you're going through. Very nice.